Pymord, Pymoglobison. Pybart. Shut up Kelly, no origami for you. Hi Manu. Everybody, I was just getting my coffee, and yeah, Richard can talk now. Switch this over. Off his tats. So yeah, I uh Does this work? Yes it does. So yeah. Ooh la la. It should work with like testicles. <laughs> no. So it should work with Hi, pretty my much name everything. is Richard. PLS save me from the dungeon Aaron keeps me in. Help I need a poo underscore <laughs> tets. So yeah. Poor Richard is trapped now. He's here for our entertainment. <laughs> it should work with like bits and resubs and everything else as well. So I've just not had a chance to test those yet because it doesn't work with the re-roll ones. But hello everybody. And yeah, I am uh I'm using my handy Dungeon Master's Guide to lean on today because I don't know where I've put my DM screen with a fancy picture on. Bits and resources. So yeah. I'm in Dictured and I have no bits. Kerskia cheered X10. I'm in Dictured and I have no bits. Hmm. I say bottom X and say this phrase out loud. Iron, iron, and iron, iron. Testicles. Hold on, my iron, iron. Aaron, iron, and iron, iron. Cora Manu gifted McGlobberson a subscription. Cora Manu gifted a tier one sub to McGlobberson. They have given 34 gift subs in the channel. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Bart Tiff cheered X10. Testicles. So. It did work. It's just it's doubling up with the Streamlabs ones. Weird. I will have to work out how to fix that later. So if I do this... Will it redo it? testicles see look somebody help me oh well i will have to uh double check how it works with the stream elements thing 
poor Richard is trapped with the horrible lot. Where Bart is only like a thousand away from uh, being a wizard as well. One more spam. All right, then maybe for today. Let me just change the settings. Give me a second. See, I can do it for free. Um. Wait, do I get extra channel points for this? Tiff cheered X10. Wait, do I get extra channel points for this? Ah, so I need to turn off the stream elements bit because it's doing both of them. Cool, right, that makes sense. I know how to fix that later. So yeah, we are doing origami today. Um... <laughs> yeah, the paper kind. I've just not decided which yet. There you go, just for today I've taken the limit of TTS for you. No limit on TTS now, you can go wild today. Uh, where were we up to? Hi Dave. Right, so we'll be doing the, the wreath as the next one. So we're gonna work out how to make this. Alright, Hank, if this is the hill you oh, yeah, want to die to fix on, I'll fight your brat. Come on, Bobby boy, let's rumble! That's my purse! I don't know you! <laughs> Alright, Hank, if this is the hill you want to die on, I'll fight your brat. Come on, Bobby boy, let's rumble! That's my purse! I don't know you! <laughs> How many of these do I need to make? Uh, ten units makes one more wreath. So we one, two, three, because we're going to cut it down. So much spam. Right. We're going to start up dividing up some of this paper because I don't want to use full pieces to make this. I'm going to split it down a bit. <gasps> Dubbing music. Um, I'll move my mic a little bit closer and... Ogarami, yes. You done Give me channel points. Bart, if cheered X50. 
Give me channel points. I'm almost there. <laughs> right. Um. It's multitask. Bart trying to cheese himself more channel points. You can be so disappointed when you actually get there. And yeah, it is very pretty paper. I'm loving it. Some of the other designs are amazing. Plus, there is like the pure gold paper. So I just could do what I did last time. Repeat this fold over and over until you get the nice white line showing that it's splitting. And it's easy. So, And yeah, song requests is on, so feel free to add all the stuff you want to. While I divide up this paper. But yeah, look at the pattern on that. It's amazing. And then pure green on the other side. Right, uh... Right, let's test this now. Uh. Give me channel points, I'm almost there. There we go. It should only come through Richard now. For bits, at least. <gasps> yeah, those are, are, are definitely some Kelly songs there. I recognise at least one of them. Granted, it's the 303 song. Should have said people could... Should have said people could request songs if they want apart from Kelly. That's what I should have said. Is why your sales are getting salt for their birthday. It's true. Luna's going to get a punch and the snails are going to get a bag of salt each.
Bill just gets shouted at, but he's deaf, so it doesn't matter. Probably a good thing he's deaf, actually, the volume that Dad plays music when he has it on. He wasn't deaf before, he is now. It's got that nice light, white line showing it splitting now. It's what we want. Uh, a wreath. Look, a Christmas wreath. It apparently needs 10 pieces, so I'm dividing up some pieces of paper because I don't want to waste 10 full sheets on it. It'll make it more fiddly because I'll have to make it smaller, but I like this paper, so I'm going to save it. Ten. Yeah, ten. So that's twelve because three pieces of paper divided it by four. So, um, that's what we're making. It's wreath. So it says, pull vertically, uh, begin with the desired colour or pattern side up, fold in half bottom to top. Uh, fold down the top right corner, only one layer, uh, uh, your paper should look like this, turn over top edge to the bottom. Fold the uh, you up to the top edge and then unfold. Yeah, I'm going to alternate it mod. So I'll have some with the pattern on the outside, some of the green on the inside, and like alternate it. So it says unfold you. And then fold it so you are in line with the top. So we'll do the cheeky reverse fold to make that easier. So I folded that up like that. And I now need that line to go along there. So I'm going to cheeky and fold it back that way to make it easier to match up. There we go. There we go. So we end up with that shape. It says turn it over top to bottom again, so you end up with that. But on the left side, I'll make sure that the crease and the loose corner of the coloured triangle. So it needs to go, uh, I see, from there to that little bit that's sticking out. Piss. What a jam. Yeah. So 
So once you're folded up to there, so you needed to fold that up, so we get a straight line from there to the bit that's sticking out here. Um, and now we fold this bit up. Paper should look like this, which is the back side, that's the front side. Aha, so that, I see how this works now. So we've made that little pocket here. This little pocket. This. This is Brino's song, is it? Sounds about right. So yeah, what happens is this point here goes into that pocket and that's what makes the circle to go around. So, so pattern side up. Three or three. Right, I'm gonna move you a little bit. Make it easier for myself. Did I tell you about the day that somebody had this? There's the ring sewn on the boss, Kelly. Like, I was on my way to work on a Saturday. Like, Saturday morning on the boss. On my way to work. I'm, like, half asleep. And I just hear this song out of nowhere. So I look down at my phone to see if I'd knocked on, like meme playlist or something like that and no it was some some girl she must be like 15 16 or something halfway down the bus had it as a ringtone i was really confused because i thought i'd play like i had my headset in and i was listening to music and i just thought i'd bumped it over to the meme playlist by accident or something There we go. So that's the way up they'll be when they're put together. This way up, those points are made to go into this pocket here. You can just see it. So you go in there. And it should set itself automatically at the right angle. There you go. So now I need another green one. So start this way up. So you you know I'm a huge weeb because my ringtone is currently the the new bleach intro song that they made. Because I am big weeb. Although I'm still not up to date with that. I need to catch up on the newest couple of episodes. Right, let's see if I can remember it now without checking the instructions. We fold this up. Yeah. <laughs> And then you go up there.
You should always have your phone on silent. <laughs> Sounds exactly like something Kelly would say to someone. There you go. So you go in there. And we just build up another seven. Alternating as we go. Raf showed you this out. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> There we go, I'll get it memorised now. <laughs> wow. See, now you've put a decent sound on. Yeah, I don't think my bot has worked. Oh, well. I thought I'd fixed it, but apparently not. I have to do it the old fashioned way. Uh, that'll do until I work out how to fix it. Right, next was a green one. Hey, Troy, how are you doing? You still at the hotel? Everybody should show Truer the new toy. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Testicles. You done messed up, eh, Ron? Bart Tiff cheered X Look at the new toy. Testicles. <laughs> Testicles.
Yeah, Richard now talks when people do TTS. And bits. Hi Trua, have you seen any giant crabs today? I heard they like you nom nom. Poor Trua. Getting bullied by crabs. I saw that clip. <laughs> Truer. Get in there. So now we need another color one. So I, I told him the other day what I did play in that game the first time. I, uh... First time I played Stranded Deep, I forgot to drag my life raft up onto the beach. So when it got to the point where I'd explored my island in Frull, I was supposed to go to other ones. I couldn't, because I didn't have a boat. It had washed away. No worries, Troy. You chill. You need it. Ignore Kelly. Yeah, I went back to where I'd uh, got out of the life raft and it had just washed away. I mean, what's worse as well, it has loads of supplies on it that I hadn't picked up. I still think it's criminal that they're making a Barbie movie and this song isn't going to be in it. Yeah, I, I like the look at it. It looks, reminds me of the forest and other similar things. But I do want to play it properly at some point. I've just not got around to it. Right, time for a green one. <laughs> it's terrible. I done that right. Yeah, I have. So yeah, it's fold up, fold you down, flip over, fold you down. Yeah. what I have started watching on Netflix really recently that is going to take me a very 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 long time to catch up on started watching Fate Zero because I have been told many many times that it's a very good series lots of like historically based cat characters which would be interesting to me and everything like that god damn there's a lot of series and a lot of episodes <laughs> Maul's got a Barbie CD. Right, so you're a green one. So you went in there. Oh no, it's share. So 
So we need another color one. I might zoom this camera in a bit. Sorry if any of you got like motion sickness or anything, you're gonna be dizzy for a second. Uh this one. Camera two we want, is it camera one? There we go. We'll use this camera instead. I just need to be more conscious of where I'm putting my hands. There we go. Flip over. Oh yeah, Kelly will be proud. She got me this hat, my Venom hat. I quite like it as well. Hermes gift. I say, bottom accents, say this phrase out loud. Mm. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. <laughs> Hold on, my earn, earn. <laughs> Aaron, earn, <laughs> and I earn, earn. Kerskia gifted actually truer a subscription. Kerskia gifted a tier one sub to actually truer. They have given 14 gift subs in the channel. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. It's supposed to be loud. Right, so I need another green one, and then another coloured one. And then that should complete it. I remember that Instagram reel that I sent Manu the other day. Some guy going on a blind date with a girl. And they're sat down and they seem to like each other. And he says, oh yeah, I'll put some music on. Like, we'll set the mood. And he puts this on. <laughs> and she says, what the hell's this? And he just tells her, get the fuck out. It's a jam. Right, so I need one more colour one, and that should complete the ring. Yeah, and that video of Melo dancing to it is like the cutest thing. Although I keep losing the link to it. I might just use Reddit save and save the, the video one day.
<laughs> I remember. I remember you showing us the like the Reddit link. Because he's like, smell or dance into like the trap hop version of something, isn't it? Oh, it's this guy. Right, this should be the last one. So if I slot you in here. And then this one in here, and then we just need to tuck them all in. There we go, it's done. And then we have a wreath. That looks quite cool. There it is. So I will save that link for later because I'm going to steal the video off it with edit save. Vaping anus destroyer. Yes. That sounds like a bar username if I've ever heard one. Right, wreath is done. It's quite cool. Like it's actually built so the the pockets are at the right angle, them to fit into each other properly as well. What? Right, next we are going to build a box. It's a Masu box. I've actually made one of these before. They're not incredibly difficult. But I'll show you anyway. I'll make a tiny version to make it harder on myself. Uh... We'll use one of these smaller pieces I've got left. However, it does have the one fold that I'm really bad at for it, which is the uh, holding the points to the centre. I'm terrible at that. So we're going to do it here. So we've done these valley folds and then we're going to fold each of these towards the centre and this is the bit I am not good at. I always misjudge one of the sides. Sometimes it's just because the paper is not squared properly but this is actually decent paper so this screws up, it's because I screwed up. Oh no. Kelly, it's terrible. There you go, I only screwed up like that side of it. That side's got a bit of a gap. Mm. 
Mm. So fold and unfold all four edges to the center. Aha, so like this. I can hear Mombly crying from here. It's terrible. And then we do. <laughs> Apparently that was all of it. So we fold the four edges in, gives us even more creases. Uh, so So using the mountain and valley creases, bring up the bottom and top edges or folding in the corners. Um, pull out the left and right corners, right? Oh yes, we have a new Discord for those of you not on it yet. So, lift you up, fold in the corner, lift you up, fold in the corner, Yeah, just in case there's anybody's lurking. The ranch is pretty much dead, so I have a new Discord now. And you're all welcome. Apart from Kelly. I remember now, I goofed that way, it folds over, so you need to come out, fold corners in, and then over the top, there, much more fiddly because I'm doing it with a tiny box, but Here you go. Neaten it up. 
Tiny box. Very small box. And then, yeah, it collapses in a bit that way, so you can make a second one as a lid to, like, slip over the top. The box is done. What is next? Hollock Peacock. I've already done my own tutorial for a peacock, so... Might skip this one. Because we know my design will be infinitely better. So what's after Peacock? <gasps> Magnolia Blossom. I'll have a look at that. Are you a modular one again? You are. Another one that needs six. Right, that's actually really simple and... Oh, let's do the one thing that I always fuck up. Channel you points and yow. Bart if cheered x10, channel points and yow. <laughs> Almost Bart. What alerts do I have turned on here? Uh, oh, so close, Bart. Sucks to be Bart. Oh no. Right, that's that saved. So close. Wap, wap, wap. Right, I need to find the paper for this one. Got how cursed this was. All the pretty papers. So I'm just finding the right one for this. I think it's this paper. Is it? No, it's this one. You hate it, yet you requested it. Right, Rose. Rose, I am bad at. I have tried to make roses many, many times and always fucked it up. Always. So, we're doing diagonals first. The other diagonal. 
continue. Blame Yash for this. For Yash who introduced us to this. Oh yeah, this is why I was fucking up because it's corners to the. It's another one with corners to the center. But this is corners to the center without guidelines. <laughs> Clay bar. As a mod, you can skip if you want. If you just type exclamation mark skip, it'll skip the current song. It is entirely within your power to cheese it to get your own song further up the queue. Yeah, so you can see there that's not properly equal. Valley hole in half. Edge to edge, both ways. Mountain fold in half. Right, so valley fold is this. And this. So valley fold both ways. <laughs> I'm yellow. And then mountain fall corner to corner, so that way. Bring E and F together at X. Oh, so sh fucking stupid thing just wants me to do this. Right. I get it now. We're doing triangle base. So you fold this and then we're collapsing bits in. Not that way. Um, where was it we did this? <laughs> there. We need to fold you. Uh, 
out of all you. So you're done. And then you collapse inwards. Right, this is the complicated bit. So I've made this. So this will kind of be the top. Mountain fold corner air to the top, repeat behind with C and D, and you'll form a pinwheel shape. Make sure each corner is cool. So B goes valley fold up there, blowing up the sunshine. <laughs> So you're a valley fold and you're a A is mountain fold corner A to the top like that. And then find with C and D. So if A mountain folded, that means C valley folded and you mountain folded. It says that this is apparently a pinwheel shape, which kind of is. No worries, Maud. I shall see you later. Bye bye. Uh, ba -ba -bam. So, open the four corners that you fold in step four and open up. Corners that are from the original fold, so it means these, I believe. And then push, creating it. Don't think I've done this bit right. So that's right. And then unfold those. Push you down. Aha. And then we curl these bits. And then curl this one. Aren't you terrible? Ah, <laughs> uh, bar fucked it up. 
There you go, that's apparently a rose. What do you think? I do not think it looks much like a rose, but apparently it is. That's apparently a rose. Well, eat it. Eat it. Blech. There you go, that's a rose. Right, I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to go and grab another drink and uh, grab some food if it's ready. If it doesn't clip, I'll make a highlight of it, Manu.
Nerds. Right. What is next on the list? Nerds. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! A leaf. I have made leaves before, but this appears to be a new design, so... Flat side down. Right. So colour or pattern side down. We're doing it this way. Leaf! It's not a Canada leaf, unfortunately. Alright, so we're doing the kite base first. I have a cheap way of doing kite base because they do. <laughs> Show me. We make kite base, hold it over that way, and it says beginning at the crease mark. <gasps> it's that one song from like a thousand different Instagram reels I've seen. Right, so mountain fold, valley fold. So now we're just alternating lots. Yeah, it's this bit. The song actually got stuck in my head for a while. Right now we need to double these up. <laughs> right, so you do all those and it looks a mess and it says unfold it there's mountain fold the bottom corner to the back. Fold the side and bottom corners to round the shape. So that's this bit. Yeah, it's the, the mistake of like looking at Instagram reels and shit late at night is the song just gets stuck in my head. It's this one and that happy, happy, happy. Trouble for joy. I say, bottom accents say this phrase out loud. Earn, mm. earn, and earn, earn. Hi, Greg. Hold on, my. Earn, earn. <laughs> Aaron, earn, <laughs> and I earn, earn. Greg Theboom just resubscribed for 20 months. Trouble for joy. Greg, you bitch. Greg, 20 months. It's crazy. 
It's a crazy long amount of time. Right, so we're... Flipping it over. And then we're doing... Pinch the top layer. And fold it down to the right. How are you doing, Greggy? Have you recovered from... Manu doing all the puzzles for you last night. Just, I was sat in that call for a while and she was pretty much carrying you. It's mainly working, Greg. Like, it works with TTS, it works with bits. He doesn't seem to recognise subs yet, though. Although there is a hacky way I could get it to do that. Um, I've just had a thought. Uh, so if we Your grab... hairline looks nice today, Gronk. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, your chat. I don't want chat. I want the alerts. So if I... Sob. Turn the TTS off. Uh, do I need to check variations? Can't remember whether I have variations for subs. Yes, I do. Review. Uppies into brown hold. Oh no. Right, so I need to turn the TTS off for the alerts themselves, otherwise it doubles up. But, if I then change the module message, I can fix that. So, save variation. Turn TTS off for you. If I go to chatbot, to modules, chat alerts, uh, It's kind of a hacky way of doing it, but it should work. Right. I don't think it replays the chat thing, but I can check. I say, bottom accents, say this phrase out loud. Earn, mm. earn, and earn, earn. <laughs> Hold on, my earn, earn. Show Richard's brown hair. Aaron, earn, and <laughs> iron, earn. Greg Theboom just resubscribed for 20 months. Trouble for joy. Right, so. What I've done is I've set it up so trouble bot. Like he says in chat, like somebody's just followed, somebody's just resubscribed, etc. That should trigger Richard saying it now. <laughs> Poor Greg. Yeah, I have no idea why it doesn't work normally, but... <gasps> Google Muck. So I'll fold the long edges of the spike over to make it thinner. And then it's straight back up. So... Apparently this is a leaf. Didn't work very well. It needs to... More folds down this way. But I could sort that out, like... Easy.
Yeah. So it just needs more folds down that way and down that way. And then that's apparently a leaf. Yeah, I, I think it looks more like a shield or something like that. It's like their pattern doesn't work very well. It lies. Right, what's next? Swan. <gasps> and it uses the gold paper. 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 Right, swan time. I have not made this pattern of swan before, so this could be interesting. Swan. Have you actually watched any of Wednesday yet, Kel? It is good. You might like it. So we are doing kite base first. So I'm going to use my cheat again. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the guy they got to play Uncle Festa, but I did like the rest of them. I'm just too used to Uncle Festa being small, round and bald. Uh, Gomez I didn't mind because Gomez looks and acts like he does like in the old cartoon and the comics. Because he's supposed to be, I think he's supposed to be outright Mexican and he's just supposed to be small and round and kind of greasy. what you get for stopping stroking Luna. Right, so. We have kite base. Kite base fold this way. Uh, pinch the narrow end to flatten the point. Make sure an equal number of layers move in opposite directions. Two towards and two at where. think this is what it wants. Yes, it is. Just need to tidy it up a bit. Especially seeing as I'm using the gold paper. And then push up the flattened point, mounts and folding it in half. Like this. Inside reverse fold. You could have just said to inside reverse fold it, that works wild better. Right. Inside reverse fold the tail down. Inside reverse fold the head, the head forwards. You're going down. Uh, yes. For these ones, anyway. As a book. <clears throat> so 
So I got this that came with a bunch of paper. So I'm following the designs in this to see what they're like. Although I skipped the swan because I've made swans before and my pattern is better. It just is. Right, so you're folded down. We need to do another inside reverse fold for the head. And then... So you're going up that way. <gasps> it's this song. You know what, Manu? I actually saw this song the other day on a video to do with stuff happening at Dutch raids. At, like, raves. And it was this playing in the background. <laughs> right, so we've got that point going up there. And then they want an outside reverse fold to do. So you need to be a bit further up that way, really. In correction folds, I'm not good at them. And then outside reverse fold for the swan's face. There you go. And then inside reverse fold the tail back up. And then fold these bits in to round it off. Here we go. Swan. So like when it's pulled out a bit. Because it's supposed to be splayed out. Here you go. Itama Swan. This is an easy one. Yeah, it's supposed to splay out like that. It just needs a bit of uh, squashing so it stays that way. So you just pull those out and you squash it a bit like that a few times. And eventually it stays that way. And there is your swan. Right, next. Butterfly. And this is a butterfly pattern I've not seen before. Because most of the ones I know don't have wings like that. Put in some water. Uh, this is going to be more complicated. Right, I need to find the paper from the picture then, Donna. You are... Spirals and purple. Glorify! All the pretty paper. This one. This one shall be the flutter by. Right. So, pattern side down. Uh, 
So we need to do it in half. And then half again, right. These are just for markers, really. Yeah, some of the simpler stuff is really quick to make once you get used to the different folds that it's talking about you can just fly through it like i bet manu can make cranes stupidly fast now made that many of them right. we want it part and right side down we've got quarters Fold these in back to the mini cranes. <gasps> Run off your skills. Yeah, I'm constantly making them out of post it notes and stuff at work. It's cranes and frogs I can make without, like, basically without thinking. And then this corner. Yeah, I still have my uh, my jar of mini cranes that you sent me. It lives on my desk. It's next to uh, the three D printed one you sent me, and Mudkip, who is uh, blue tacked in place, so I don't knock him around. Right. Where? You fold in that way. So we end up with this shape. And then we need to do this and fold it this way. Oh, have you seen the box that I've got? Uh keep my Pokemon cards in Manu. So these are duplicates to swap with Kelly at some point. I have like multiple racquets and shit. So I'm going to swap these with Kelly at some point. These are this, believe it or not, is also a duplicate. I have two foil Moltres and I got a bunch of other stuff. This is all my trainer cards and my energies but I have this box to keep my actual cards in so I've got like all my cool cards are in here like the ones that you sent me and I have put them in like order so evolutions are together and stuff <laughs> You're gonna fold her for yours. Ah, uh, you don't need to, Manu. I will send you some of these. And then whatever's left, I will trade with Gemma and Elijah. Right. 
So where were we? Uh, so we fold this up this way. It says squash fold the right half to the front. Really? We squash folding now. Why? Squash fold what more? Now how are the how are you doing the squash fold on here? Are you You do not explain yourself well. Or is this another bit where it's got the wrong word on it? It's confusing me. Unless... Are we doing it? Yeah, we're doing it this way, aren't we? Are we? Because you don't look like mine. So you are supposed to be all the way across. No, that is right. Pattern is confusing me. Ah, never mind. Those folds are in the wrong place, apparently. I screwed this one up right at the start. Right. So your quarter, you're an eighth. So it wants you between a quarter and an eighth. Apparently. Right, I need to work out these beginning creases because apparently they're in more awkward locations than I thought. This is another song that gets stuck in my head often. Believe uh. Right. Try these corners. Gonna look a bit scuffed now because I've got the old fold fold lines on it, but we'll just have to deal with it. The Darren side we paper like this, like you do have to get it right first time because the old fold lines stick out a lot. Some of the cheaper, thicker papers you can kind of get away with, but this stuff, no chance. Like the really, really expensive papers, people will. Some people will like even iron out to get rid of old folds and stuff in it. So if we fold you in now. So we have this. I 
That still doesn't look right. So that is what I have. That's the gap it shows there. These should be further in. But not. If they're halfway, they meet up. So do I need another I need another folding? In awkward places placement, right. So we need another fold in between these two lines here. So it doesn't go all the way in, but goes a decent way in. We will pinch fold this. This thing's going to have fold lines everywhere. There. So that's the line we wanted. Let's have a look. So, you're halfway, you're a quarter, you're like an eighth. So you're in between a quarter and an eighth. So if we fold this corner down, you can really tell which songs are Aaron's songs on this playlist. Like combined playlist of me, Beth, and Ashley. It's very obvious which songs are mine. That's more like it. That looks right. Compare it to that pattern there. That looks way more like it, right? Redo this bit. Wanna soul and die. Yeah, this is very much a song about people shagging in a plain toilet. <gasps> Hi, Raven. How are you doing? You have joined just in time to see the one I've screwed up the most. Trying to make a fancy butterfly. Maud was here earlier, but she's run away again. I think uh, that apprenticeship placement thing she's doing has killed her off. <laughs> there. So, these should be at the right sit. So, if I fold these in now, it should mo look more like the Y shape that I wanted. Which is that one there. There we go. That looks much closer to what I actually needed. <laughs> yeah, she sensed you're coming and she's done a runner. Right, now we need to do the stupid squash fold again. So, fold this all the way up here. What have you been up to anyway, Raven? I saw you were setting your PC up ready for streaming. What are you thinking of doing? So I have a couple of games lined up, but I've just not got around to them yet. Ooh, yeah, I, I still need to try that game. It looks like a good one. Like, more varied than uh, Phasmo, at least. Right, now it actually looks like the pattern. See? So you've got a little coloured tip there, and the rest of it's the pattern that you wanted. 
do get a little coloured tip there. See, look, it's done it. Now we need to do the squash fold on this side as well. Ooh. Yeah, Iridium was saying it won't, like, some of the vengeful ghosts are just mean. Like, they will just go for you constantly. You end up just spending your whole time trying to survive rather than working out what it actually is. There we go. So this is the shape that we wanted. <laughs> yeah, that game does seem to like to trick you with them. It is on my very, very long list of games I need to try at some point. It's like there's another one as well. I forgot what it's called, but it lets you trap the ghosts and things like that. Like, like more of an actual ghost hunting one rather than investigating one. I need to remember what that's called. So there is a streamer that I watch who's played it a couple of times. It lets you do all sorts like actually go after the ghosts once you work out what they are. It's like, it, it has dumb stuff like, oh yeah, we worked out this ghost is a banshee. So one of the items you can get is like noise cancelling he headphones. So you can't hear it scream. Right. Bring both corners down. There. Um... Yeah, vaguely accurate to the lore. Like basically, the the only one I know for sure is the Banshee, because that's the, the one I saw them do on stream. And basically, when you go into the building, the first person that actually hears the Banshee scream will be tagged as the Banshee's target until they're dead. And then, on again, next person to hear it scream becomes the Banshee target. The only one I remember because I watched them play it on stream and they worked out the mechanic of that one when they started with five people and had one left. And he's like, oh, that's how it works. Right. There you go. So that's flattened. And it says mountain and valley fold. The centre to form the body. Ah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but spots bullying you here as well. There we go. There is our butterfly. I'm not sure how much I like this design. This design is a lot more... I'm going to say square than the other butterfly designs I've done. But it does angle out a little bit when you like, squash it out like that. Oh, 
There you go, that looks a little bit better, but... It's a decent design, but it's a lot more square than the other butterflies I'm used to. So the other butterflies are... Very traditional design. Uh, right, butterfly done. Hey, look, it's a crane. And a frog. The two that I know best. Right, bugger it. We're going to do the blind challenge again. But, i going to do it with a post-it note. So, post-it note, crane, blind. End result should look like that. You ready? Post-it note. Eyes closed. You tell. Throw ourselves against the wall. It's going to be slightly awkward because of the sticky bit on the post-it note. Right. Side to side done, side to side done. Now we need diagonals. That feels all right. Sticky bit is making it extra awkward. We need to collapse you in to make the square base. You just stuck together, you are. Pinch them together. Same on this side. Pinch this in. That feels very wonky. Oh well. And 
maybe need to lift up. And the other side. E. Stop sticking together. I'll fold you up there. Fold you. Well. Oh, you're already up. There. This is going to be so scuffed. Yeah, I can feel them like overlapping. Yeah, that's badly done. I can feel that. World's wonkiest tail. Man. Crane. Oh, it's not horrible. I made his head way bigger than it should be. Yeah, there is Crane. Crane with my eyes closed. Not bad. I made it out of post-it note. Next is a frog. I know how to make frog. Because you start it almost the same way. Yeah. Right, let's find what colour paper do we want for the frog. It's the one with orchids on it. I hit the camera. Yeah, we're going to make a mini ash on stream. That's uh, the one with orchids. This one. Froggy time. I was trying to find this song the other day and I couldn't remember what it was called. you and we need diagonals
See, this will be a easier pattern for me because I've made it lots of times before. Then and we squash folding these. You don't have to fold it that way for gouache folds, but I find it easier because it helps the these folds help the sides spread out a bit easier like that. So those folds help with that bit there. It's where they're going to be anyway, so you may as well. Yeah, for the other two. Token. I know what. Right. Does all the squash themes done? So squash folds, and then these need turning up. So we're gonna petal fold them. So you fold this side over, this side over. And then you fold them in. And you bring this point up to the top. And there we go. That there is a petal fold. Now I need to do this to all four. I'll fold two done. Fold it up. And there. Split him along there.
A Dorkin. It's terrible. A Dorkin. <gasps> Stream Elements is telling me great news because a paid sponsorship is available. Let's see who it is. Is it going to be Raid Shadow Legends again? Sponsorships. Hello, Fresh. Nah. <gasps> Burbs. Yeah, I've had like offers of sponsorship from Raid Shadow Legends twice, but both times it's been the mobile version. So I'm not focusing to download the mobile version while watching the stream. Nobody wants that cancer on their phones. HelloFresh is decent. It's just the uh, sponsorship's terrible. Right, is that all four? That's all four done. Cool. So. Now these fold in. One at a time. Do, 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 do. And fold these ones in. Do, 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 do. And now, now they're folded in, need to do it to these ones as well. these ones in almost a froggy stage I'll get a paper cut and the ink is coming off on my hands I don't know if you could see it, but i got black ink all over my hands. Right. Time to fold these up to make these arms and legs. Hold these up as far as they'll go, but we want them in line with the actual outside of the body. So you need pulling in a bit there. A couple more inside reverse folds. To make his froggy front legs. And then 
this one. There you go, so there's his proggy front legs. Now his back legs go straight out at the bottom, so it's another inside reverse fold, but we're doing it all the way along right here. Back legs play straight out. Same on the other side. Boom, 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 boom. Guile is canonically best character in Street Fighter. All the rest of them throwing like fireball hadoukens and shit and his sonic boom is literally because he can punch fast enough to make a sonic boom no special powers or anything he just punches really fast yep there's his legs And now, you'll notice he's looking a bit pointy. It's because we need to uh, do some inflating. So, watch this. Just going to tidy these legs up a little bit. There you go. And then we just sort his back legs. Froggy. Tiny little golden yash frog. There we go. Whoop. Right, what else have we got in the book? Chinese wheel. You're the last design. You are, and you are one of the stupid glue together ones, aren't you? Yeah, we will skip the Chinese wheel just because it uses shit tons of paper. Koi Carp. Yeah, we'll do the Koi Carp, and then that this this book will be done. Yeah, I made a tiny golden yash. Hit him. Koi carp time. And then we shall finish the stream for the day. So I need the one with the splashes on it. See one of these earlier ones. It's this one. The one with the goldfish on.
Right, we'll skip the rest of Giles' theme, seeing as it's like 15 minutes long. Right, carp time. Yeah, this is a bath song. All right, they need to be parallel, not to center. So, pull that a bit too far. A little bit. Of... Now, if I turn you over. Can match you kinda that way. Oh yeah, Beth, uh Manu. Your parcel may take even slightly longer because Beth also has something for you. So I need to go and pick it up off her and grab it. So I can add it to the box of stuff to send. Every time I think I've got everything together, something else needs adding to it. Right, so now we need to... Yeah, I know what she's got you. She showed me. You'll enjoy it. But yeah, she messaged me the other day and said, Is it, Have you sent my news box yet? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to send it like... End of this week, and she went, Oh, I've got something to put in it. So now I need to wait to see Beth. So there's something from Kelly in there, there's something from me in there, there's something from Beth in there. Every time I think I've got it sorted, somebody else has something to add to it. Pulled you up there. Then we need to fold these to make fins. That goes way too far up. Need to be about there. Then fold out. Why does this not work properly?
Hi Purple. How are you doing? It has been a while. I am currently confusing myself with this pattern. So now you fold in and then fold back out there. And now you fold in and then fold back out. I am good. I got lots of origami stuff for Christmas, so I am loving it. I am just trying to get the patterns in the book I got. So I got this. And it has like 10 or 12 different patterns in. So I've been working my way through them. It has all sorts in it. It's like pinwheels, carp, turtles, tortoise, got rose, swan. And the one I'm doing now is the very last one in the book, which is a koi carp. Or I'm trying to anyway. So I've got this ship. Now I need to fold these bits over to make it straight again. How have you been doing, Purple? What have you been up to? You enjoy yourself over Christmas and New Year? So we got this. Now you need flipping over. Winner! Cool. What are you thinking of doing for your comeback stream? Doing anything special? In fact, where am command gone? We have fancy new Discord now. So you can promote it in there as well. Bam. Oh, Lego typewriter. That sounds awesome. Oh, you got a man who's already done it. So yeah, go promote it in there. When you're ready, of course. And we'll all jump in because we all love Lego. We sat there watching it. I love it. Right, so fold up this bottom edge. And you're apparently the mouth. And then mountain fold the paper in half. Lengthways. Yeah, a man who is doing the uh, the good mod stuff. Right, and then inside reverse fold the tail paper to get an angle pretty much the same as the the fins. And then we go back up and basically flatten it. So tail fins. We need to fold these and crimp them to make the front fins. Yeah, I'd love to see some Lego streams. Like we watched Yash do some recently. And he was building the oh, what set was it now? Yash did one and Greg did one. I can't remember who did which. 
Greg did the um, flowers, didn't he? My brain has drawn a brank because it's got to that time. There we go. There is the koi. Yeah, the bonsai Lego set is cool. I saw Greg do that. Like the plate, the pink, um, like cherry blossom bonsai looked awesome. I'd love to get one of those. I know my friend Beth got, um, you know, the little like succulent cactus set where it's like six of them. That looked really cool as well. There you go, there is our koi. Little koi carp. Ah. Right. That is all the patterns in this book. Done. All done. So... I'm pretty much done as well. I am tired now and I, I need to get this like black ink off my fingers. <laughs> Just all the black ink has come off the paper. It's like waxy paper where I've been rubbing it. So I am going to go and clean myself up and we'll find some nerd to uh to raid in the meantime. No worries purple, it's always nice to have you. Thank you, Greg. Who is online? Who can we rate? Who is around? When Twitch wants to load. Bye bye everybody, Bart is still a little bitch. Uh, thank you Richard. Ah Yash is on, we'll go and race Red Yash. Someone save me. No Richard you're trapped, you stay in there. Right, we're all going to say hello to Yash. And I shall uh, see you all next time. So yeah, if you sub to Yash, throw me Yish. If not, like, I have my own raid emote and stuff, so go for it. But, I'll see you all next time. I'll be doing some more, like, Uncharted on Thursday, so I'll see you then. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye everybody. Oh yeah, and thank you for the sub.